If you charge additional fees on items that are considered as revenue, you can set up surcharges with a company-specific label and rules for how charges are calculated. To start, you first have to open Company Settings for some initial setup in the Sales Order area and the Surcharge tab. Give your surcharge an alias, which will display as the field label on sales orders. Indicate the minimum and maximum amounts that you can have automatically calculated as this surcharge. Assign the ledger account that all surcharges will be posted to, which typically is a revenue account, and could be included with general revenue or have its own account. And finally, indicate if tax is calculated on the surcharge, either by selecting a third-party tax integration here or indicating on Spire sales tax codes that this tax is applied to surcharges. The next step is to determine which inventory items have surcharges applied. You first need to open the inventory product codes list to determine which codes will have surcharges. Edit a product code and in the surcharge field, enter the percentage value that will be multiplied to item prices on sales orders. Then every inventory item that has this product code configured will automatically calculate the surcharge amount. When a sales order is created, the surcharge name and amount can be found in the bottom section of the window. When you add an item that supports surcharges through the product code, this surcharge total will be incremented by the amount for this item. If the calculated amount is greater than zero, but less than the surcharge minimum, then the total surcharge will be equal to the minimum. If the calculated amount is greater than the maximum, whether there is one or multiple items on the sales order that uses surcharges, then the total surcharge will be equal to the maximum. You can edit the surcharge amount to anything you want, even outside the minimum and maximum range. But once you do this, the automatic calculation will no longer be done for this order. Whatever the surcharge amount is, tax will be charged on this amount if this is how it was set up. Printing an order confirmation or invoice or other customer document will include this surcharge total in the bottom section of the form as a separate amount. When this order is invoiced, the general ledger transaction will have the surcharge amount posted to the account specified in company settings, whether it's a separate account or combined with other revenue. If you would like more information about Spire Accounting, access the link in the description below to our homepage. Read the online manual help for additional assistance. Watch more videos from this playlist. And subscribe to the Spire YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.